major health insurance companies in Oregon for violations involving mental health coverage. Two of the cases involved the family of a boy with autism we have talked with for months. Oregon's Department of Consumer and Business Services is proposing the fines and violations against the companies. They'll still get a chance to file appeals. KJ's Joe Douglas talked to my parents of a boy with autism since November. And Joe, what's their response to the announcement? Deb, they say they are ecstatic, excited, and hopeful these proposed actions will help not just them, but other families facing similar situations as well. <laughs> Playful, smiling Cole Pinoy was born in September 2013. Cole's parents, David Canoy and Heather Smith Canoy, are clearly head over heels in love with their adorable, energetic baby. He was a healthy boy. You say hi, Dad. This video shows Cole imitating speech and sounds, something his parents say he can no longer do. <laughs> Hi, Dad. They say the change happened when Cole Hi, was about a year and a half old. We, we started to pick up on that, and it was pretty alarming. He had lost the ability to speak, and toddlers don't lose the ability to speak when they're healthy. Cole was diagnosed with autism during the summer of 2015. Can I get a high five? I'm kind of prompt dependent on this one. High five? Can I get a high five? That was when it became pretty difficult. Well, it, it shatters your, uh, your kind of, your, the scenario that you think you're going to have for your child. The Kanoi say hope came in the form of three main treatments. The first is applied behavior analysis, or ABA, which many experts consider the gold standard of autism therapy. Good job. Oh, here's one more. There's one more. It helps him. Uh, it, it helps, it, it merges him with, with other kids so that there's some social interaction. There's also speech and occupational therapy. The occupational therapy is, is really amazing for Cole because his gross motor skills, his, uh, you know, his athleticism, his, his activity are really high and he, um, he excels in those areas. But David and Heather say when they tried to get coverage for treatments in 2015, they ran into trouble. As soon as his um, autism diagnosis happened, we started the pre-authorization request for applied behavior analysis, and we were denied quickly um, with a strange letter that said it's it's not part of your plan. Cole gets health care coverage through Heather, who works as a professor at Lewis and Clark College. The school, along with several other local colleges, gets uh, ins uh, insurance through Pioneer Educators Health Trust, and they hire Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield as a third-party administrator. Now, with the help of an advocate, uh, the Canoys uh, fought for months to get coverage for Cole, and they eventually filed complaints with the state uh, with an advocate named Paul Turdall of Autism Speaks. Now, they spoke to us about them last November, and today, authorities announced proposed actions in the case. They include a $100,000 fine for Pioneer Educators Health Trust for applying an annual visitation limit for neurodevelopmental therapy, excluding ABA therapy in its 2015 health benefit plan, and issuing the plan without approval from the state, denying the Kanoi's pre-authorization pre request for ABA therapy, and denying a claim for ABA therapy with no basis for that denial. Orders are also proposed for regions, including a $100,000 fine after the state says that company provided incorrect information uh, to Pioneer and at least one consumer about whether it was required to cover ABA therapy. A region spokesman tells me these proposed actions are, uh, these proposed uh, actions, no! regions cares deeply about our members and works diligently to connect them to the care they need. We are disappointed that the Department of Financial Regulation has decided to move forward with this action without giving us the opportunity to respond. We stand by our members with supporting them on their care path. Heather, David, and uh, and their advocate, Paul Turdall of Autism Speaks, filed those consumer complaints. Uh, two of those com complaints, one in 2015 and one in 2016. These proposed actions today, uh, announced today, market 
excuse me, they're called marketplace violations, which the state can issue if insurance companies break rules regarding coverage. In recent years, authorities haven't doled out many of those, except when you consider around 4,000, uh, which isn't much when you consider there's around 4,000 insurance uh, consumer complaints filed a year. In 2016, just five marketplace violations were issued. The year before, there were none, and in 2014, there were four. A state spokeswoman says the newly formed uh, D Division of Financial Regulation has more resources and anticipates being able to take swifter action in these types of cases. Live in the newsroom, Joe Douglas, K2 News. All right, Joe, thank you. Two other insurers were fined by the state today for violating mental health coverage laws. United Healthcare has fined a proposed $110,000 for denying 22 speech therapy claims for children diagnosed with developmental disorders like autism. And Kaiser Foundation Health Plan of the Northwest is fined $250,000 for providing misleading information in its member documents about whether it would pay attorney fees in a lawsuit. Kaiser says it's evaluating today's actions and is committed to providing effective mental health treatment. United Healthcare says they've already performed an audit and fixed their errors. K2 Crime Alert.